I don't really like to brag, but max speeding routes just came through, boys. Oh my god, look at that. Woo! On today's video, guys, we got ourselves a GT30 from MaxSpeedingRouts.com, and we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and demonstration and the potential of the GT30 Turbo. All right, welcome, everyone. And first of all, thank you, Rena from Max Speeding Rod, for sending me out this GT3037 Turbo. Now, let's go ahead and just unbox it, talk about it a little bit. Max Speeding Rod shipping comes in really, really quickly. Uh, packaged pretty good for the most part. Included down below, we got a little decal right here for Max Speeding Rods and instructions manual actually the instructions manual has pretty good information in there as long as an exhaust manifold gasket a oil feed and oil drain gasket as well as some banjo bolt of some sort i also did notice that the kit does come with a oil feed restrictor which is really nice sometimes on journal bearings guys you still need an oil restrictor to reduce smoking of the turbo based on my experience so here it is guys gt3037 now this one is not your average turbo uh, you're not gonna be putting this on a vehicle that is stock you really need a built engine or something that can withstand up to 500 horsepower which this turbo is rated for so let's take it out and let's talk a little bit more about it Right, guys here it is the gt3037 now most of you guys are gonna ask some questions should i buy this turbo is max speeding rods a good turbo and let me tell you guys this thing lasts you can look at reviews online people running these things uh, beating the piss out of them they're making tons of power and they're lasting and even if they they go bad after let's say a year or two or three the cost of this is so small that it, it some people actually prefer getting new turbos and replacing them compared to getting your garrett's and uh, borg warners that cost three to five times more than this one currently this one is going for about 275 on max speeding uh, rods website you can definitely definitely check out with my promo code and get even a bigger deal on this so let's talk about the highlights of this turbo clearly the biggest highlight guys you guys see that beautiful forged uh, billet aluminum compressor wheel this is only, not only going to reduce a drag it's also so light and improves it improves efficiency by being so lightweight and the ability of it to spin up faster and spool up quicker so that's the biggest highlight of the turbo the turbo does have a t3 exhaust side flange so if you're bolting it up to your manifold it's a t3 make sure your manifold is a t3 for this to be compatible if not you can always buy an adapter plate converting whatever your manifold is to the turbo now if you, we're going to talk about a little bit about the ar trims of the exhaust manifold and the compressor the the exhaust manifold here is a 0.82 ar and the compressor side is a 0.60 ar so it does probably take a little bit to spool up on a four banger but it's a decent combination again up to 500 horsepower it comes with a four bolt exhaust flange here for your downpipe you are going to have to run a external wastegate in order to run this turbo on your vehicle this does not come with a internal wastegate all right, so the benefit of these turbos with these forged impellers is that the build quality of the casting and the material is much better and resists much higher temperatures. All around, you got a better casting on the exhaust manifold, on the compressor, and clearly all the parts here are gonna be able to sustain more pressure. Just like many turbos, this uh, cartridge is a journal bearing cartridge, and it does have uh, cooling ports in it as well so you can do a combination of oil cooling and water cooling for the turbo which is gonna prolong the longevity of it and yeah guys that's pretty much the gt 3037 summed up in in a couple minutes here 
it looks pretty good it's got this anti-surge compressor also on it similar to the gt 3582 now my personal recommendations if you're looking for something that has a little quicker spool up try looking into the gt 2871r i have a few videos of those that i reviewed and unboxed earlier in the year so check that out if you're looking for something up to like 350 400 horsepower with a quicker spool up again this is about 500 but if you guys want something with a big top end a lot of power on a built motor check out the review i did on the gt 3582 turbo maybe that's your best choice but either way whatever choice you go with max speeding rods has you guys covered from all sorts of horsepower ranges and affordability and again check out the promo code you guys can save some more money at check out with my link and my code so that's about it thanks for watching guys peace i ain't here for the money i ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane i'ma do it all for you come along and see it's true but the world is pretty